Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little cardigan sweater for little girls between three and four years old. Now, you can also make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. I'd say from one to two years old and up to 10 years old, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box box as well. Now at the end of the tutorial I leave you the finished measurements and remember all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Okay so let's get started but first don't forget to subscribe, share my tutorials and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching! Okay, to begin, I'll be using this five millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this medium number four yarn. This is the brand of yarn that I'm using. It's called Lion Brand Yarns, Pound of Love. This is a medium number four yarn in this color white. I'm also going to use a little bit in pink. Now, to begin, I have 50 chains. This chain here is measuring about 12 and a half inches, which is about 32 centimeters. Okay, so to begin, like I said, I have 50 chains into the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. I'm going to make a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, close. The two chains here counts as your first half double crochet. Now into the next chain, make the same thing, a half double crochet, half double crochet into the next chain, and so on. This is all we're going to do for this first row, so continue like this, and let me at the end of this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 48 half double crochets, plus the two chains here at the beginning. Now, for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. The two chains never count as a stitch. Now, in this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into the fourth, we're going to make two double crochets. So let me show you. Beginning into the first half double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for the second row. Again, you're going to repeat one, two, three double crochets and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this second row, we're going to have 59 double crochets. Continue and let me show the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 59 double crochets. Here at the end, we're always going to finish with these last four double crochets. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. The two chains never count as a stitch. In this row, we're going to make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for this third row. You're going to repeat one, two, three, four double crochets and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this third row, you should have a total of 70 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 70 double crochets. Here at the end, remember, we always finish with four double crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. The two chains never count as a stitch. In this row, we're going to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five double crochets, and into the next two double crochets. One and two. This is how you're going to continue. You're going to repeat five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 81 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have a total of 81 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. The two chains never count as a stitch. In this row, we're going to make six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, 
four, five, six double crochets and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for this fifth row. You're going to make six double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this fifth row, we're going to have 92 double crochets. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Now in this fifth row, I added an extra double crochet here at the end. So instead of having 92 double crochets, like I said I would, I have 93 double crochets. And the increase I made here into this second to last double crochet. So see right there, I have two double crochets and then my last double crochet. So make sure that in this fifth row, you have 93 double crochets and not 92 like I said you would. So now for the sixth row, we're going to chain three and turn. The three chains in this row count as your first double crochet. Now for this row, we're going to make V-stitches. Each one of the V-stitches that we make is going to consist of a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. So beginning into the third double crochet, one, two, three, we're going to make our first V-stitch. double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Now, now to make the next one, skip one, two, and into the third, make your next V-stitch. Again, skip one, two, and into the third, another V-stitch. This is how we're going to continue for this sixth row. So continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have a total of 30 V stitches. Now to finish, we're going to make a double crochet here into the last double crochet. And this is how I finish this sixth row. Now for the seventh row, you're going to chain three and turn. Now each one of these V stitches, this is how you're going to work each one. You're going to make a front post double crochet into this first double crochet Inside the chain two space, you're going to make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then a front post double crochet. Again, same thing into the next front post double crochet, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and a front post double crochet. This is all you're going to do, so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this seventh row. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. I have a total of 30 fans. Now to finish this row and all the rows to follow, we're always going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. Now for the eighth row, we're going to chain three and turn. In this row, we're going to repeat the row of V-stitches. Remember that our V-stitches consist of a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. So inside this first fan, make your first V-stitch. Inside the next one, same thing, another V-stitch. This is how we're going to continue for this eighth row. At the end of this row, we're going to have 30 V-stitches again. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this eighth row. To finish, we're just going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how I finish this eighth row where we did V-stitches and I have a total of 30 V-stitches. Now for the ninth row, chain three and turn. In this row, we're going to repeat the row of fans. So each one of the V-stitches, you're going to do the following. You're going to make a front post double crochet. Inside the chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then again, a front post double crochet. This is all you're going to do for each one of the V-stitches, so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this ninth row. Okay, I finished this ninth row. I have a total of 30 fans. Now here at the end, I just pinched the second chain and made a double crochet here at the end. Now the yoke is done. This is what it looks like. Now, let me measure it for you. It's, let's see, it's about, from the top of the neckline, it's about 14 centimeters, which is about five and a half inches. 
So now what we're going to do in the next row is we're going to divide the sleeves. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to chain three and turn. Here I'm going to work these four V stitches. So that's one into the next. That's two into the next. That's three and into this fourth one, same thing. Okay, so I have four V stitches, one, two, three, four. Now into this same fan here where I have my stitch marker, I'm going to make one more V stitch before we divide the sleeve. So now for this side, I have five V stitches like this. Now we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, and into this seventh fan, we're going to do the same thing I did here, two V stitches. That's one and one more and two. And this is how we're going to divide the sleeves. And that's what it looks like. So now you're going to continue and work these next, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine V stitches. And I will meet you here. Here into this ninth uh, fan, we're going to make two V stitches. So I will meet you here to show you how we're going to divide the other sleeve. Okay, I finished making these V stitches here for the back side. This is where we did the two V stitches into this first uh, fan for the back. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So into this fan here, I have two V stitches. Now to divide the sleeve, we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six fans, and into this seventh fan, we're going to make two V stitches. It's the same thing we did on the on the other side, the first sleeve. And there's the two V stitches. Now we're going to finish these last three V stitches. So I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we divided our sleeves. Now in this row, you should have a total of 22 V stitches. Now for the second row, you're going to chain three and turn. Now in this row, each one of these V stitches, you're going to work in the following way. The first double crochet of this V stitch, you're going to work a front post double crochet inside the chain two space you're going to make two double crochets two chains two double crochets and then a front post double crochet this is all we're going to do for each one of the v stitches so continue and i'll meet you at the end of this second row i'm here at the end of this second row i have a total of 22 fans now here at the end, I just finished by making a double crochet. Now for the third row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now in this row, we have to do V stitches and I'm going to increase here under this, the sleeve, so on each side. So here, we're going to work these five V stitches. So beginning on top of the first fan, make your first V stitch. Double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Into the next, another V stitch. Two, three, four, five V stitches, and here under the sleeve, right in between this last fan for this front panel and the first fan for the back side right in the middle, you're going to make two V stitches. This is where we're going to increase in this row. So double crochet, two chains, double crochet, and then again, another V stitch, same thing. 
Now you're going to continue for the back side and you're going to work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve V stitches. Then right here under the sleeve, you're going to make two V stitches and then finish with these last V stitches. At the end of this third row, you should have 26 V stitches. So I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 26 V stitches here to finish. We're going to pinch the second chain and make a double crochet here at the end. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain three and turn. In this row, we have to do the row of fans. So same thing, this first double crochet of this V stitch, we're going to work a front post double crochet. Inside the chain two space, you're going to make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then a front post double crochet. This is how you're going to work each one of the V stitches. At the end of this fourth row, we're going to have 26 fans. So continue and let me you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have a total of 26 fans. Now to finish this row and all the rows to follow, you're always going to pinch the second chain and make a double crochet. And this is how I finish this fourth row with 26 fans. Now from here on, we're not going to make any more increases. All we're going to do is repeat these two rows, the row of V stitches and the row of fans. And at the end of each row, you're going to have 26 fans or 26 V stitches. So now for your fifth row, you're going to chain three and turn. In this row, we have to do our V stitches. So inside each one of these fans, you're going to make a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this row. When you finish, again, you're going to pinch the second chain and make a double crochet here at the end, then chain three, turn, and then repeat the row of fans. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do from here on, but continue watching and you'll see how many rows I'm going to do. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 16th row. So in total from this first row where we divided the sleeves up to this last row, I have 16 rows. My last row here is a row of fans. And here to finish, all I did was just make one last double crochet at the end and cut my yarn. Now I'm going to measure it for you. So from the top of the neckline down to the end, it's measuring, let's see. It's about 15 inches, which is about 38 centimeters. If you want to make it longer, you can. If you want to make less, less row to make it shorter, you can. Now, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one last row. So to do this, I'm just going to insert my hook here into this last double crochet. This is the yarn that I use. It's called I Love This Yarn. It's in the color Coral Sparkle. It's a medium number four yarn. So we're going to start here. So bring this loop through the front, chain one and turn now into this same stitch here, the first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now chain two, inside this chain two space of this first fan, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet into the same space two chains and then between these two fans right in the center make a single crochet two chains single crochet into the next fan three chains single crochet two chains single crochet this is all i'm going to do for this part so continue like this and let me you at the end of this row Okay, I finished my last stitch here. I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop. Here at the end, I just did a single crochet right here. I just pinched the second chain. And this part here is done. That's what it looks like. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go here to this side and with the same yarn and with the same hook, we're going to do single crochets along this part here. And so we're going to go here, insert your hook into this single crochet right there, grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain one and into this same stitch here make a single crochet now make sure that when you make these single crochets they're nice and loose if you um, prefer you can also use a slightly bigger hook to do this part you can use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook I'm just going to use the same one but I'm going to make sure to 
do these single crochets nice and loose. Now we have here along the edge, we have a double crochet or the chains, double crochet or the chains. Wherever we have the double crochets, you're going to make two single crochets. Into the chain space, make one, then two single crochets, then one, then two, and then one, and so on. This is all I'm going to do here for this part along the edge. So continue like this, and I'll meet you here at the top of the neckline to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the top of the yoke. Now into this first row that we did of double crochets, I did one single crochet. Then I have the row of half double crochets. I'm going to make one single crochet. And then in this row of chains, one single crochet. So if you count each one of these single crochets, you should have 39 single crochets along this side. We're going to make sure to have the same number of stitches along the other side. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to work our way down working single crochets. So beginning on top of this first single crochet, make a single crochet and so on. Continue and let me meet you here at this end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. Now I have a total of 39 single crochets. For the third row, we're going to chain one and turn. In this row, we're going to make our buttonholes. So here we're going to work 27 single crochets and then we're going to do two buttonholes. If you want to make more buttonholes, then you're going to have to determine uh, the distance between each buttonhole here. So I'm only going to do two. Now into the first single crochet, make your first single crochet and then continue your way up until you have 27 single crochets. I will meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making my 27 single crochets. Now here I have my first stitch marker. I'm going to chain one, skip the next single crochet and into the next make a single crochet. Now I'm only going to skip one chain because I'm going to be using these buttons. Now these buttons are about two centimeters which is about three fourths of an inch. Make sure that this stitch that we left here or that we made here is big enough for the buttons that you're going to use. Now we're going to continue and make, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine single crochets. Now chain one again, skip this next single crochet and into the last single crochet here at the top, make your last single crochet. And this is what it looks like. So I did two buttonholes. Now we're going to work our way around the neckline. So into this last single crochet right here, I have one, I'm going to make two more here, one and two. This is to help turn so that we can work single crochets around the neckline. Now into this first row, make a single crochet. Then into each one of these chain, you're going to make one single crochet like this. So continue around the neckline and I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, I finished making these single crochets along the neckline. Now into this last chain here, I did three single crochets. Now we're going to work our way down working single crochets. So in this next row, this is the half double crochet row, make one single crochet. Then we have the double crochet row, make two, then one, and then two, one, and then two. And then from here on, we can do the same thing. We're going to do one, two, one, two, and so on. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I finished making my single crochets along this side. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Here for this side, we're going to do three rows of single crochets. So here, beginning on top of the first single crochet, make your first single crochet, single crochet into the next and so on. For this part here, we're going to do three rows. So when you finish here, you're going to chain one, turn, and then come back down. I'll meet you at the end of that third row. Okay, I finished making this part here. I did a total of three rows. Here at the end, all I did was just make my last stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through this last loop, and this part here is done, and this is what it looks like. Now, I went ahead and added my buttons. Now, a lot of you ask me if I sew my buttons in with needle and thread. I don't. What I do is I just cut a piece of yarn about this much, and then I just pass it through the little holes. Then I just pass one strand on one side of the stitch, and then the other on, on the other side, and then here I just tie it and then hide my ends. See, that's 
that's what it looks like. So it's much easier instead of sewing. Sometimes when you sew, um, the buttons come off or they're loose. So this here works for me and you can do the same. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, as you probably saw was uh, the sleeves. I already did this side. Now we're going to do this in the exact same way on this side, so nothing is going to change. So after you do this side, you're going to do the exact same thing here on this side. Okay, so here, what we're going to do is we're going to go under the sleeve. So right here, insert your hook right in the very center, right there, see? Now grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain three. Now in this first row, we have to do our V-stitch row since that is the next row in our pattern. So you're going to chain three and into this same stitch here, make a double crochet. So this is going to be the first V-stitch. Now to make your next V-stitch, you're going to go here, right here. I left the stitch marker, so this is where we divided the sleeves. So into this same fan here, you're going to make another V-stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now, one thing before we continue, if you notice, the V-stitches around the sleeve are going to be a little different. It's only going to have one chain instead of two. These here for the, uh, for the sweater, this part here, we did two chains, but here we're only going to do one chain because I want this part to be a bit um, more snug around the arm, so I'm going to do one chain. If you want this to be a bit loose, then go ahead and add two chains. It's, it's okay. So I'm just going to continue now around the sleeve. This is the first fan to the sleeve, uh, making V-stitches like this. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So continue like this all around, and I'll meet you right about here, right here, to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at this other side of the sleeve. This is the first row, and up to here I have eight V-stitches. We're going to make one more so that we finish this first row with nine V-stitches. So the last V-stitch I'm going to make into this same fan. I still have my stitch marker here, so right here I'm going to insert my hook and make my last V-stitch. Like this. Now, to finish, we're going to go here to the side of the three chains and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished this first row with nine V-stitches. Now, for the second row, we're going to chain one. And in this row, we're going to work the row of fans. So yarn over, insert your hook right here. This is the three chains, and we're going to make a front post double crochet. Now, inside the chain one space or of this first V-stitch, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets and then a front post double crochet again the next v-stitch work a front post double crochet inside the chain one space make two double crochets two chains two double crochets and then a front post double crochet. This is all we're going to do for this row, so continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of nine fans. To finish, we're just going to go here to the side right there and join with a slip stitch. Now, what we're going to do from here on is we're going to repeat these two rows, the row of fans and the row of V-stitches. So the next row for me is going to be the row of V-stitches. So to do this next row, we're going to have to make um, three slip stitches so that we are right here, right in the center of this first fan. So to do these slip stitches, insert your hook into the next double crochet right on top and make your first on top of the next double crochet, make a slip stitch. And inside the chain two space of this fan, make a slip stitch. Now you're going to chain three, or actually four, chain four, and into this same space here, you're going to make a double crochet. Now to make your next one, insert your hook into the next fan and make your next V-stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now from here on, you're just going to continue all around, just working V-stitches. I'll meet you here at the end of this third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where we did V-stitches and I have a total of nine V-stitches. Now, to finish this row, we're just going to go here to the side of the four chains and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished this third row. Now, from here on, like I said, we're going to repeat these two rows, the row of fans and the row of V-stitches. 
So to make your next row, the row of fans, you're going to chain one and then work a front post double crochet, two double crochets inside the chain one space, two chains, two double crochets, and then front post double crochet. Again, front post double crochet into the next V-stitch, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And then front post double crochet. This is all we're going to do all around this for this row. When you finish, you're going to join here to the side, right here with a slip stitch. Then you're going to work one, two, three slip stitches and then chain four and then repeat the row of V-stitches. Now, we're going to do a total of 10 rows. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of the 10th row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 10th row. So in total, I have done 10 rows. We have two, four, six, eight, 10. Now for the next four rows, uh, two of those are going to be the V-stitch row in the V-stitch row, we're going to make a change. So I'm going to show you here how you're going to work the next two rows of V-stitches. We're going to still follow the same pattern. So for row 11, we have to do the row V-stitches. So here I'm just going to finish the 10th row by joining to the side with a slip stitch. Then I'm going to work three slip stitches. One, two, and three. Now chain three and one double crochet into this space. Now jump to the next fan and make two double crochets. Here is where we see the change. Instead of making our V-stitch with a double crochet, chain one double crochet, we're going to make this V-stitch with just two double crochets. And you're going to treat these two double crochets as a V-stitch. And in between the two double crochets is where you're going to make your fan. Now you're going to do this for row 11, then you're going to do row 12 with the fans, and then you're going to do row 13 again and repeat the these V-stitches with just two double crochets, and then row 14 with the fans. I'll meet you at the end of the 14th row. Okay, I finished making this 14th row, and this is what it looks like. So now uh, the sleeve is almost done. Now here at the end of the sleeve, what we're going to do is you have two options. You can do it like this, this row here in this color peach, which is the exact same thing I did here um, at the bottom. It's done in the exact same way. I'm not going to show you this because I'm pretty sure you all can do this. I showed you how to do it here, so you just do it here around the sleeve. And then you just uh, finish here at the end by joining to the first chain with a slip stitch, and then you just cut your yarn and then hide your ends. But what I'm going to do here is another option. So if you prefer this to be a bit uh, more snug around the wrist, this is what we're going to do. So I finished the 14th row, then I did my three slip stitches. Oops, I need to do one more. Inside each one of these fans, we're going to do the following. You're going to chain one into this first one and make two single crochets. Jump to the next one, next fan, and do three single crochets. Jump to the next one and do two single crochets. Jump to the next one and do three. This is how you're going to continue. You're going to alternate between three, two, three, two, all the way to the other side. So continue and I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this row of single crochets. All I did was just join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. I had a total of 22 single crochets. Now, if you want to do this next part with the same color, you don't have to cut your yarn. You can just chain one and then continue run making single crochets. Since I cut my yarn, I'm going to insert my hook here into this first single crochet. I'm going to grab this loop here, bring it through the front, chain one and then into this same space here make your first single crochet for this row all we're going to do are single crochets all around and at the end of this row i'm going to have 22 single crochets then i'm going to join here to the first single crochet with a slip stitch and then repeat the same thing 
22 single crochets all around. So I'm going to do this for three rows. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of the third row. Okay, I finished making the third row. All I did to finish here at the end was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and the sleeve is done and this is what it looks like. Now you're going to do the exact same thing I did here on this side. You're going to do it here on this other side. It's exactly in the same way. You don't have to do anything differently. You're just going to do the exact same thing. So now our little jacket is done and this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to give you the finished measurements. Uh, this is what it looks like from the back. Now, from the top of the neckline down to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 34 centimeters, which is about 13.5 inches. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 9.5 inches, which is about 24 centimeters. Now, from the top of the neckline down to the end, it's measuring about 40 centimeters, which is about 15 and a half inches, and around the chest area here. It's measuring about 22 inches, which is about 56 centimeters. Now, now, based on these measurements, this little jacket is for a little girl between three and four years old. Now, you can also make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you some information on how you can change the size. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.